Hello guys, welcome to Chiron Labs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make different types of liquid culture. So I have some Chiron, honey, light malt extract, and my master's mix. We also have a couple of stir bars, and a couple of marbles, and a one-fourth teaspoon measuring cup. So to start off with, I'm going to be using 4% Chiron, which is 20 grams, same thing with the honey. So we use... 20 grams of honey, and this is for our 500 milliliter containers. Um, next, I'm going to be using the light malt extract, and I'm going to be weighing out 1 fourth teaspoon, which is about a gram. So you'll use a gram of malt per 500 milliliters. Um, same thing with the master's mix. 1 gram per 500 milliliters. So in this media bottle, I'm just going to put a couple marbles in there. And this one will have our Cairo in it. Um, there's easier ways to add the uh, Cairo and honey. You can just put it directly into the jar instead of laying it out like I did in the video. Again, you want to use a 4% sugar ratio per 500 milliliters with your Cairo, honey, and corn syrup. Next, we're going to move on to our light mold extract. So I originally weighed this out for 500 milliliters of water, but I decided to use one of these bigger jars. So I'm going to do a thousand milliliters. So again, for each one of these, I just added one extra scoop. Um, again, the scoop I'm using is one quarter teaspoon. When we're done, we're going to go and pressure cook these for 30 minutes at 15 PSI. So right here, I'm adding about two to three inches of water at the bottom, and then I'm going to heat it up. Once you have your pressure cooker heated up and we have steam coming out of the top, then we can put our weight on there. Once we hit our 15 PSI mark, then we let it cook for 30 minutes. Here are the results. We have our controlled water. We have our Cairo, our honey, our light mold extract, and our master's mix. Now I'm going to show you how to inoculate the jars. So the first jar is just water. And I did not add a air vent to this. So now it has negative pressure. And what will happen is it will suck up a whole syringe um, without you pushing the plunger down. So you'll see as I back up, the syringe is actually pulling down by itself. That's why I use a syringe filter to equal the pressure. So first what I'm going to do is undo my sterile syringe and I'm going to unscrew the tip of my liquid culture. Next I'm going to wipe down my injection port and last thing I'm going to do is heat up the tip of the needle. I'm going to inject one cc of fluid into my liquid culture jar and that's it. Now I'm going to cap it and I'm done. If you can you should try to stir this around once a day if not twice a day and after about a week or two, your liquid culture will start looking thick and dense like this. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, please share.